It's been quite an experience. I've spent so much time uh, in the studio going back and forth because we recorded it in London, of course, and I, I don't live here, so I had to go back and forth, but it's just been fantastic. I mean, the whole mic and the whole, just his whole team has just been, it's been an amazing uh, time. I've, I've enjoyed it. It's been, it, it had, it doesn't feel like work because you actually, you go in and you do, some singing and you do some, you know, the band come in and they play the songs and you just sit down and you relax, play some table tennis or whatever and that just creates, you know, I never had the chance to get nervous and that I actually realized that, wow, I'm actually making my second album now. For me, the producer was so important because I needed to find someone who were able to take my songs and sort of do it the way I wanted to and just sort of push them a bit further. And I remember coming to the studio, meeting Mike for the first time, and, uh, and you know, there was just, just this big smile, really. And we just left the same day, and we thought, oh, okay, so we were smiling a lot, laughing a lot, and said all the right things. So that's good. So I felt that Lena wasn't quite fit enough for the vocals. <laughs> so I thought I should actually start her doing some sort of exercise in the studio. So I used to play her table tennis most days, sometimes for hours a day, and just to keep her interested, I used to let her win every now and then. Yeah. Just to, otherwise she would have got bored and stopped doing it. But so, I think, did I? Did you win one? I, I, I think I did. Yeah. I think I won. I won a few. <laughs> <laughs> There's a day I never will forget. The day we met. When we met. When I was done doing the, the whole rounds of, the, of, of playing my game, I felt a bit, okay, so I, have to, I'm, I was so tired and I thought, I cannot see another hotel or I cannot jump on another airplane off to somewhere. And I just, I just need to, to go home and sleep for like a year. You know, I, I didn't have time to actually sit down and think, you know, oh, that actually happens. And, mm, you know, had time to sort of just think about it. For a while, it, everything just happened so quickly. From this day on, I'll follow you. I'll keep you near like I promised to. And I swear to you, I won't be gone when the night comes. I was a bit concerned when I, you know, I thought, well, can I actually do this again? Oof. I'm, you know, uh, I have the songs and all, but and I want to, but it's just, um, yeah, I was a bit scared, I guess. I'm still, I'm still scared. So maybe I didn't think we'd come this far. I mean, I had a break for uh, f for some time just to sort of figure out who I wanted to work with. We have the team of people who are the musicians and the bands, the assistants in the studio, yeah, engineering. Lena obviously writes the music and all I really have to do is oversee them doing their jobs. So they all do their jobs and I sort of sit around and watch it all happen <laughs> and wander about. So well that sounds good. And so it's occasionally when it doesn't sound good I'll actually say, oh, not sure about that bit. I can't believe sometimes sitting in there that um, I'm sitting there listening to it, listening to a song that's an amazing song being played through the speakers or hearing Lena sing a vocal. And I'll be sitting there thinking, ah, I've been paid for sitting here <laughs> <laughs> doing this. <laughs> Most people actually pay money to come and hear a performance. So I'm just sitting there. <laughs> I don't know really how to describe the mixture of songs. And I mean, I've been writing stuff all the time so it's just a matter of feeling that it's you know fresh somehow I didn't have the same things to write about as I had when I actually lived in Tromsø you know in school with my friends and family it was a bit my life sort of changed and that whole experience was a bit weird for me because I suddenly just thought, well, what am I going to write about, really? Because there, are, I've been on two airports today, I've been in two hotels today, and I met tons of people and done lo loads of TV shows. But yeah, it wasn't as easy as writing songs when I used to hang out with my friends and we just talked about stuff. And I could think, hmm, that was interesting. I have to write about that. 
When I hear my old album, it's just sometimes I think, hmm, well, those are old lyrics, you know, and that's that was then, and now is now, so I have to write songs that fit me. Yeah, you have the, the verse and the bridge and the chorus, and then the second verse. But you are singing the songwriter, and you actually do entirely write all your own songs, so that's very, very unusual to have someone who actually writes everything. Everything on the album. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, Every everything. single thing. It's just the way I wanted to do it. I mean, for me, especially the lyrics for me are just, you know, has to be. I never let anyone interfere with my lyrics. Uh, it's just because it's just my stories. Uh, and uh, Apart from the bits I helped you with. <laughs> you know, the choruses <laughs> and the verse and <laughs> the melody. Yeah, and the lyrics I did. <laughs> no, but it's just, it's just for me, it's just, I, I, I can cooperate on melodies if I feel that's, you know, I need to or I, I want to do it for fun. But lyrics are always my 